hello and welcome to my channel it's me Tina today I am here to um, just create some of these little um, embellishments for journals or cards or just uh, you know uh, put them in a packet for your friend for friend mail and so I have those um, I'm gonna try making those again and I just want to show you I had made these little embellishments um, this was just a piece of scrap paper that I thought was pretty um, some stickers some bling some little uh, tool that I had here and just a little something I put together and this again was just uh, like leftovers I had <clears throat> a little piece of ribbon tied it in a knot and I had a couple of pieces of this little lace that I put on here and this too was just little pieces that I had left over and this these two flowers were um, just two pieces of uh, lace that were stuck together I cut them apart put some uh, paper um, leaves on them and little flowers with a center and a paper button and beautiful embellishments now I will get to making these so these are little hearts and what I did was I took paper um, I took just regular paper you can do like cardstock or whatever you have and then just glue them together to make them thicker and that might be too small yeah this this one was too small see it took a chunk out of that so I'm just gonna get some bigger paper here I didn't even get that ready smart of me anyway let's get some paper here so here's some it's a little thicker so you might not need as many pieces um, I'll just make one or two so you can see what they look like like that so those are the bigger hearts and we'll just put those on a pile there and this is just a um, punch that I got from I believe it's Joann's it's the paper studio so I'm pretty sure it's from Joann's I'm not sure how big this heart is but uh, this is a small one anyway like a teeny tiny and I have an EK tool that's what this is and it doesn't say how big this one is either so as long as you have you know a heart or it can be circles even like it doesn't have to be hearts it can be any shape just make little dangles that way if you don't want to use beads you can uh, or charms or whatever you can use um, these you know okay so I am gonna glue two of them together like this and sorry my fingers are purple I did some um, fabric dyeing um, in fact I can show you the paint that I used uh, I believe this is from Dollar Tree the fabric spray paint I'm pretty sure um, and what I did was uh, I just put some in a bowl added some water and then put my fabric in and uh, let me show you what it turned out like where did it go Oh, I just wanted to show you the fabric, but I can't find the fabric. But anyway, here's here's what this is um, like a doily. I did a doily, and that's what that turned out like. And then I did some lace, and yeah, I just soaked them in a little um, bowl, and I added some water, and I squeezed it out, and then I just. Uh, dried it with my heat gun because it said 
to leave it uh, out to dry. So I just did it with my heat tool and uh, that way I could put my, my book together. I love my heat tool. <laughs> it comes in very handy. So if you want it a little thicker, you could add more. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it like... And you know what? I think I did glue three of them together here. <laughs> That's me. Leave it to me. Okay, so I'll cut out two more here of the large... So we'll do three for each of them. And you can, you know, make them any color you want. Um, you can distress them. You can use um, ink. I mean, marker or pencil crayon or whatever you have. Or, or uh, you know, die cut them with paper you want. But I'm like a vintage person. I like a vintage color. But I'm going to do um, some pink with this. So I'm just going to take my, my pink here. And just go like that. I have a dauber somewhere. And you can do the back too if you want. There we go. And this one I'll do in blue. Woo! That is beautiful. I love it. That is why I love blue. I'm starting to like purple. I think Thelma Hall is rubbing off on me. She likes purple so much that I'm getting into purple. <laughs> but I still love my blue. I love it, love it. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And there is those. And then we'll get on to these little ones. And where is my little grabber? I love this little... Um, pickup tool that I have comes in very handy when um, your fingers don't want to work okay so glue that together you can even do it like this I'll show you an easier way just put your glue down Oop. and since we're doing three of them I'm just gonna whoop put that together and this one, pick them up. And this, these two are done, these hearts. And I will do another two here. And just, actually we're doing three, right? On each one, whoops. Okay. So, we're going to do two more. Oh, that one flew somewhere. Okay, so there. Take that one. And there we go. Squeeze those together. And there we go. Now what I'm going to do with these. Okay, these are the last ones I did. So I'll do the pink first. I will put these on here. Just rub them around a little bit. Both sides. And try not to get blue on them. 
Oh, here's my purple material. <laughs> or my purple doily that was left over. Yeah. <clears throat> There's that. And I'm getting blue on this little heart here. But it's okay. It just makes it more unique. Okay, so I think we're done with the pink ink. And I'm going to grab this with the tweezers because I don't want to get this on my hands more. This is permanent ink. So there we go. There is that. Now, what did I do? So, I need my crocodile here and um, I like to use my the handheld one for this and I'm going to be using the small hole here the 1 8th so I'm going to make a hole on this side and that side so just like that and then I'm going to make one right in the middle of the tiny little hearts like that that wasn't quite in the middle but anyway there we go do the same with the blue one here and in the middle There we go. Now I am going to thread them in here like this. So I'm going to take my thread. I'm going to get actually a little bit thicker thread because I can hardly even see that one that I have there. Where is my thicker one? Hello? Okay, so I'm just going to use this, um, what is this, Embro embroidery thread. So I will do that. Um, I have to look how I even did it. So what I could do is... Cut a piece off, and where's my scissor? Sorry, this is so tedious. <clears throat> I thought I was better prepared, but I'm not. Okay, and then just make sure you're, you're doing it the right way, that you're going to pull through here, that it goes right in between the little, what do you call that, the little heart there like that so there's one now we're gonna do another piece like so and just take that in half and put that through the little heart and I'll do that one differently the blue one pull it through okay come on come on come on and there we go and you want it right in the middle there we go okay now take your ends and cut them as well you're gonna need to tie it so um, actually you could tie a knot like this not like that, like this. Just tie a knot. Make sure you get both ends and just tie a knot like that. And then stick it in the hole. And open up your little loop here. 
and just pull that through. And then you've got your one dangle. Then you can do it again, make a loop. It's better to leave your, your uh, string a little bit longer. That was much easier. Now stick it through again. And then pull your heart through. There we go. Now, if you want to make one shorter than the other, one little dangle, you would have to um, make your, your uh, here, I'm going to take this out, make your little, uh, make your loop shorter. So I'm going to tie one more knot in here, if I can make it. There we go. And then pull that through. And then pull your little heart through there. But make sure you leave enough room for this little heart to come through. Okay. Now you can cut your little strings there. Like so. There we go. So you could also turn this into a paper clip so you can add anything you want to that let me show you how to turn it into a paper clip so get your paper clips and grab the color you want so I'm gonna grab the pink one and then I'm gonna get another large heart and then everything comes crashing down and then just take your paper clip and clip that the large part, the large, the largest side of the paper clip is out. And then take your glue. I have glossy uh, art glitter glue here. And just fill that up with glue. Or you could do it with hot glue. Hot glue would work really well for this. And there you go. You can have a little um, embellishment for your journal, a little heart. I'm just going to clip these together like that. And then you could also add a little uh, jump ring right there and add another little um, little dangle there. So that is that one. Now let's do this one. Um, I'll do this one. Let's see. Like I did these, which I did with just this um, silver thread. But again, I'm going to need one more heart. So basically, there's um, there's three hearts there. So this is the fourth one. Right? Yes. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is... So you wouldn't necessarily have to punch holes in these little ones, but that's okay since we did. I'm going to put, I'm going to have to cut this here. I'm going to put some glue on here. And I'm going to place my thread there and snip it. And another piece. Of thread hanging down and then I'm gonna add glue to this side like this make sure your string is where you want it to be like that So there's the two strings 
And then I'm going to take my little heart punch and punch out the backs for each one of those. Okay, so do we want them hanging the same height or not? I'm going to cut that one a little shorter and that one there. So we're going to add a little glue here for that one. And I hope I'm in frame here. And a little glue here. Okay, now I'm going to take my pickup tool here. And you can get these pickup tools at AliExpress really cheap, probably like a dollar. Okay, there we go. We got those. Now I'm going to add a couple of little blingies here. I have these little diamonds here that I just dropped. I have a white one and a blue one. Add some glue into the, since I have the little holes there. I'm just going to cover them. There we go. There's that. And then I'm going to close that so I don't dump them all over the place. Um, you can add some more stuff. You can add um, more bling. You can, yeah, like I said, I wouldn't have to have had these little holes here. You can add this flower. So I'll add this flower here just to cover up the little holes there. Like that. And I'll add some more glue in the center, and I'll add a little gem in there. And I'll just grab my little... Yeah, that's worse picking up than with my fingers. There we go. So this can be glued straight down onto a journal page or you can have this one with the paper clip and let's fix this guy up a bit. Let's see what he needs or she needs. So we got that one. Um, let's see, what have we got? Since we did pink there, we can do something in a blue, and oops, I'm ripping that, so we'll make this one a blingy one too. Add a little spiral thing here. Cut that off. Look at how pretty that is. How cute. And we can add little gems to the bottom here, too. I'm going to cut this little string off here. Like that. Now let's add some little gems here. Let's see, which ones do we want? We can add ones like this. How beautiful is that? I love it. And we'll put this one this way. And there are the cute little embellishments. Now I'm gonna add it to one of my journals here just to show you what it looks like. Let's move all of this. Open up, 
open up. Okay, let's see, where should we put it? Um, maybe we'll put it on this page. And this is the one with the paper clip. So we'll put that one right there. There we go. See how that looks? Such a cute little embellishment. And let's grab another book here. We'll put this one in this book here. Um, let's see. I'll put it towards the back here. Mm, let's see. Let's see. Come on. Find a page. Find a page. Okay, we'll put it right here. And we can even do it further down. Okay, I'll put my glue on first. Oop. Right there. And there we go. Very cute. And they'll probably be hanging down that way. You could glue these down too if you wanted these little hearts. But, um, yeah, I like them. Well, I hope you liked this little tutorial. Um, give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. I would really appreciate it. Um, and uh, join my YouTube channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I just wanted to give you one more look here. So there's that one. And look what you can create with... You know, just very minimal supplies and, uh, yeah, you could even cut them out like little circles would work, um, squares, whatever. Yep. All right. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye.